In 2008 and 2009, a cholera epidemic claimed nearly 4,300 lives and infected more than 100,000 Zimbabweans. The Zimbabwean government declared the outbreak a national emergency. Although the epidemic was contained by late 2009, the poor condition of sanitation in Zimbabwe remained a matter of national importance. We lost a lot of people because a lot of people they died because we didn't have water, a clean water and everything. The Bait Bridge border post is the busiest road border post in southern Africa. Situated between South Africa and Zimbabwe, the town was hardest hit by the cholera epidemic. Over a quarter of all cholera cases originated here. The town's density, coupled with its poor sanitation infrastructure, aided the spread of the waterborne disease and exacerbated the loss of life. I joined Aguma Reserve, like Rutumba, about 20 cases in Gamvura. The World Bank and the government of Zimbabwe have been working together to address the health and sanitation crisis in Baitbridge and the surrounding areas and bring clean, fresh water to this bustling community. The Bait Bridge Emergency Water Supply and Sanitation Project had three main objectives. The rehabilitation and treatment of the water supply, the treatment and rehabilitation of sewerage, and the improvement of solid waste management. The availability of water now is, is, is actually a high rate. Before, we used to have a limited time of getting water. It was actually not reaching some of the residents, one, two, it had a time frame because of the pumping and actually you could go for days without water some of the times. The project also aimed to strengthen the institutional capacity of both the Baitbridge Town Council and the Zimbabwe National Water Authority. With 2.6 million US dollars in funding from the multi-donor trust fund, Baitbridge's water and sanitation infrastructure was restored. Waste removal was prioritized to stop the spread of the highly infectious cholera bacteria and prevent additional infection. Then, the city began to work on treating and disinfecting its polluted water supply. To date, the project has successfully prevented another cholera outbreak in Baitbridge. The town is also cleaner. Until we got clean water, until we got uh, chemicals to purify the water, then that's when we, as business people, started to see our businesses coming up again. They upgraded the water treatment plant for zero, and also they uh, retrenched our pipes, our sewer pipes, one kilometer to the sewage treatment plant, and also our ponds were redone because we had a problem with our ponds where we were polluting the International River, the Limpopo, but through the World Bank program, we were able to address that situation. The resilient residents of Baitbridge are thrilled to have safe drinking water in their homes. Alongside their community leaders, they have committed to working together to maintain the water and sanitation infrastructure so that waterborne diseases like typhoid and cholera are prevented. These days, uh, we are enjoying. Don't you look at me, look how smart am I. It means I'm eating a clean water. Yes, yes. What can you say? We are drinking clean water. We are using clean water to bathe. We are getting water each and every day. So we are no longer suffering from lack what we were doing before.